You know, it's said that the heavenly wakes you up at 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes. And uh, sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's just an awareness thing. Sometimes it's just the opportunity to be by yourself and assess life. Not unless you're not by yourself, then it's different. But when you're a single man like me, it just means that, you know, assessment. I wake up at 3 o'clock a lot of times. Sometimes I interrupt my sleep, but I get back to sleep and put in another 6, depending on what time I'm with the bed. But I'm out here on the deck. It's been a long time since I woke up to the sunrise. You know, they say it's a good thing to wake up to the sunrise sometimes. You know, I have a lot of friends who work at my former employer, Scepter. Oh, man, they got all wet. And they wake up to the sunrise all the time because they work midnights. So they get to see the sunrise. Not sure how it affects them. It's probably just another sunrise to them. But for me, since I was up since 3 o'clock or so, 3.30. It was 3 o'clock or 3.30 I got up. You know, I've, I've been up ever since. Just trying to assess my life and what I'm, you know, well, my transition is since I retired. I've done a lot since I retired. I've been a couple films. I've become a chauffeur. Uh, looking possibly to becoming a teacher's aide in September. You know, trying to work on my album. Uh, I was hoping to have my studio business open more, but there's not a lot of business for my investment of about a hundred or more thousand dollars in my studio. So somebody got to pay it back. So somebody got to work a little bit, but that's okay. Cause I never give up. Like I told a potential buyer today for something else. I told him I would never give up, never give up my character. Music is my character. I would never do that. It never means never. Even if I had to sell all my studio stuff for some reason or the other, I would never stop being a musician, not stop being a, a music writer or producer, whatever it is. I'll never stop. But there's always changes in life. You know, and uh, I like living here. I would like to stay here. Not sure. You know, things have changed. The economy has changed. A lot of things have changed. And uh, when it comes to the point that I can feel more comfortable living someplace else, you know, smaller, because this is a pretty big, pretty big place. As you see a deck and my studios in here, as a lot of you well know, and all the closet space and bathroom, master bathroom and master bedroom. It's a beautiful thing. I've been here for about 10 years. But, you know, sometimes you got to make adjustments. I don't want to leave here. I try not to leave here. Got garage, security. But uh, things may change, but we'll see. We're not trying to speak leaving here into existence. What we're trying to do is recognize that sometimes you may have to make change. But at this point, looking at the sunrise, I can get past anything. Anything. Thank the heavenly, not God, because if you're true to the word, there are many gods. A lot of people don't know what God they're speaking with or speaking of. Some people just say God to be saying God. Some people say, oh, my God. I'm not sure what God they're talking about, but I don't speak of a God. I speak of a heavenly, a personal relationship, not a God relationship. Again, if you check out the Bible, in the Old Testament, you'll see Elohim. Elohim is plural for many gods. There are many gods. I don't know what gods some of you guys be talking about, and that's okay. Deal with your God, but only deal with the Heavenly Father. And Yeshua and Holy Spirit, that's what I do. So I'm thankful to be up looking at the sunrise. Hope this day brings a lot of surprises, beautiful things, helpful things I can help others. And just like another day, make it pop positively. 
Hopefully your day goes well as well. And you become positive regardless of what's going on politically or anything like that. You still got to live. I'm not sure how you're living. Sometimes some people don't even know why they're living. But you know, reality is you better live before there's no living left. How at your boy? I'm going back to sleep. Give me some rest. And wake up to uh, finishing up this, uh, this not application. Well, I guess this documentation I have to do an I-9 to become a teacher's assistant in September. So we got to take care of that, too. I really like chauffeuring, too. So having willing to be back to work tomorrow, chauffeuring. Had a good time on the first day. A little, little crazy, but it worked out. So, uh, yeah, I like life. Hopefully you do, too.